Hello, North Carolina Prepper here. I was thinking about supplements and uh, nutritional supplements in the I don't know, shit hit the fan scenario or disaster scenario. And um, I'm out here at the uh, Arboretum today. And if you go down here, you can see this is a pine tree. Hold on. Ah, zoom. Bad zoom. Sorry. Here we go. It's a pine tree. One of the sure ways to tell it's a pine is the fact that there are pine cones. So, let me get over here, zoom back out. And, um, if we grab a bunch of needles, I'm going to pull some needles off here. And I'll show you guys how to make some, uh, uh, pine needle tea. And this will be full of, uh, vitamins. I'm going to wash it first to get rid of all the bugs out here, but... You just wash it first, and, um, I'll continue when I get back to my place, but, uh... You can cook this in the field or whatever. So, I'll be right back um, when I get home. And I'll show you how to make up some pine needle tea. North Carolina Prepper. Okay, we're back inside now. Um, waited a few more hours, actually. I'm going to go ahead and wash all these off, see all the bugs and stuff off them. And put it in here in the jar to shake it up. So let me do that really, really quick. Okay. So they're all rinsed, so there's no dirt on them or you know, bug feces. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the uh, brown ones, or the dead ones. Um, just get this out real quick. <clears throat> yeah, that's okay, I guess. Okay. There's no major dead ones there, that I can see, except for this one here. It's going bye-bye. <clears throat> so, we're going to take this, and probably should have shorted sort of that a little better. Now, um, <clears throat> some uh, pine needles can actually be bad and dangerous. I've included what this came from, so we know what kind of uh, pine it was. Oh, my knife here. So we're going to chop these up. For the most part, I'm going to cut the ends off. I think I chose too many a time. <clears throat> Let's try this. <laughs> Chop these over this trash can. Be right back. That works. Alright, so let's get a pot of water here going and I'll, um, I'll drop these in it real quick. I'll chop them up some more in the pot. Okay, we're going to add one cup of water. Spill only some of it. We're going to take our pine needles here and cut them up in here. Um, the reason I'm cutting them in is so it gets more vitamin C and vitamin A out of it. Um, I'll filter it with the uh, sieve here, but you know this is going to be really strong because there's way too many here. You probably need a quarter of this amount or just a couple handfuls really. I'll let the wife clean that up. This will be a really strong tea. Actually that's, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that like that. I'll put these back here somewhere. That's actually plenty right there. So let me go ahead and get that on the stove and we'll get that boiling or uh, maybe a little more. Maybe uh, simmering for five minutes, and then um, we'll let it seep for about 20 minutes to get the maximum out there, and then we'll go ahead and um, 
we'll try some. Um, people add all kinds of stuff to it, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let me go ahead and get this boiling, or uh, simmering. I mean, not, not quite a rolling boil, but a, a very low boil. And I'll be right back. Alright, it's uh, getting up to temperature now. <clears throat> We're not going to let a hard boil come, because we don't want to destroy the vitamin C or vitamin A or any of that good stuff in there. And let's turn it down now. I'm turning it down to about a three on my uh, stove. And the house smells like Christmas now. But um, now, supposedly these uh, pine needles can cause miscarriages in farm animals. Pine needles, pine cones, pine straw. So, they say it may cause miscarriages in women, so don't do this through breastfeeding or any of that. <clears throat> I am not a doctor. I'm doing this just for myself, showing you how I do it. If you do it and poison yourself, not not my fault. In fact, don't do this, ever. But, <clears throat> should shit the fan, I need some vitamin C because I'm sick or I got a cold or whatever. I wouldn't do this long term. I have heard, I don't know, but I've heard, this isn't. there's other compounds in here that aren't good for your kidneys and stuff over long times. A long term, so... Got that on three. We're gonna go ahead and let it let it cook up for five minutes. Uh, timer. There we go. So we're gonna let this run for five minutes, and then we're gonna let it seep for twenty minutes, and I'll come back after all that's done, and I'll be back. Okay. All right. Timer went off. It's done. It's hot, it's steamy. Let's see if we can taste some of that. Nope, I have to jar it first. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this mason jar here. It's a little hot. I'll be right back when it cooled down a bit. Alright, we're back. Uh, Cool enough now, not to break my pot, so I'm gonna go ahead and filter it into this jar. Yeah. I'll do it this way so you guys can watch me filter. There we go. That really washed out. Let me try to light up on the camera here. If we can. We cannot. So let me fix that. Alright. There we go. Now you can see it. Uh, it tastes pretty bad. It tastes like pine and dirt. Um, you know, but if you need your vitamin C and vitamin A, you do what you gotta do to survive. So That's how you make pine needle tea. It can be an acquired taste like coffee, I guess or uh, whiskey or bourbon or whatever but there you go that's smoked calendar prepper that's pine needle tea you might want to add sugar or something to it or syrup or anything <laughs> alright please rate and subscribe